Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean bearings. I have been using these bearings uh, if you've been following along for the Kinex cars here. So these are 5 by 11 by 4 bearings, but honestly this process of cleaning bearings can be used for all kinds of bearings. For bearings used on my other roller coaster I've been making, um, have some smaller bearings there. I'll give you guys some uh, some of my findings with what bearings to look for when buying and then how I clean them so hope you guys enjoy first off um, all of these bearings that I have here I bought off of eBay or maybe in a hobby store uh, eBay is going to be your best bet some of these bearings are pretty expensive ten dollars or so five dollars uh, some of these bearings here that actually the cheapest ones that I could find or close to the cheapest ones I could find they came in a hundred packs from China so these blue shielded bearings and I found these ones to work the best next I'll go into some specifics of bearings that you want to look for or ones that you want to stay away from all right, so reviewing some of the bearings here, these are all five by 11 by four bearings. So in this case where all of this is low impact and you want the lowest amount of friction, you're gonna wanna look for open bearings or bearings that can get open. So this is the only kind of bearing that I found that was open, but it's very expensive, probably about $10 which is just a little bit too much, but I bought some just to test them out. The bearing I ended up going with were these rubber shielded bearings here. You can pull off the shield, which I'll show you later, and then you'll notice there's some grease in them. It's either grease or oil. So, not that you can see it, but in this bearing here, this is one I bought from the States. This one came with oil. It was a little easier to remove that oil. But uh, this one runs great. This one will run great. This will turn into this bearing here. So, as I've showed you before, after cleaning, you're gonna get some pretty long run times, probably 10 seconds or so. So, ceramic, expensive. Ceramic ball bearing and metal, expensive. I didn't have the best success with these. I didn't find them to work any better than just the metal bearings. Um, Sorry, going back to this one, this could be a good application if you knew your bearings were going to get wet, they could get damaged from water, things like that. For our instance, stick away from these metal shielded bearings because you can't pull off the shields there. Alright, and this is getting a little picky, but going into some bearings that are maybe rubber shielded, certain kinds of bearings, there are ones you can get that have these cages that are double sided. I don't know if you can see that or not, but on this side the cage looks the exact same as these ones. I found that oil and grease is a lot harder to get out of these ones than ones that are just single sided. So I'll show you um, this one here. You can kind of see the bearings, the whole bearing on that side, and then on this side you can see that cage a lot more. So this is more one sided, which is a lot easier to get grease and oil out of so this isn't necessarily something that you can see on the specs of the bearings I never found it but just from testing out maybe like eight different types of bearings uh, buying random ones off of eBay and seeing what I got and seeing the run times I found these single-sided cages to work much better in getting the grease out so next up I will show you guys how I clean these bearings all right, so the first process in getting these bearings clean is to take off the rubber shield. So, as you can see, I have done probably about 120 already, getting them ready to be cleaned. Um, to get these shields off, you're gonna take your utility knife and on the inside part of the rubber shield, you're gonna pull up, just like that. Make sure you don't dig your utility knife too far in where you would hit the cage or the bearings, but just enough so it gets right under the shield there. Sometimes I've found uh, some of these 
shields are a little bit hard to get off of. All right, so now that I've got all the shields off the bearings here, I usually don't do this many. This is probably 130 bearings or so, but it's for various projects. Um, the next thing you want to do is soak them in some degreaser. So I will show you the specific degreasers that I have been using. These are three of the degreasers that I have used in the process. Um, I found each of these to work pretty good. Uh, most of these were found in the automotive section or cleaning section in my supermarket. It was Walmart for me, just right down the street. So if you're in the States, you can find all of these at Walmart. Um, I'm going to be using this one today, and I found this one to work pretty well. Um, I believe all of these say they are somewhat natural or biodegradable. They don't have as many harmful chemicals as some of your typical degreasers that you might find for car engines, various other things that you're cleaning. So that was nice because I work inside for most of these things, so I didn't want to have toxic fumes in my house. So I found this one to work pretty well, so this is the one I'm going to be using today. I've poured the degreaser into three containers here, so I'm probably going to be putting about 40 bearings per container. So as you can see, I've got all of the bearings in the containers there. So The next step will be to just let them sit. So I'll give you guys an update in probably eh, maybe half an hour, an hour. We'll see. Alright, so an update on these, it's been about an hour. This bearing here, we'll focus on that. You can kind of see this white stuff in it, that's the grease. And the degree, degreaser is acting with that and kind of removing it from the bearing there. So right now I haven't shaken up anything, it's pretty clear, but if I give this you know, a fairly gentle shake, kind of get the degreaser moving in between all the bearings so you can kind of see the water cloud up and those chunks. That's the grease getting removed from the bearings. I'll keep letting them sit for a little bit longer till I see, you can still see grease in those bearings there, till I see at least less grease in the bearings. All right, so it's been about half an hour since the last update, and uh, I shook this one around, and they're looking pretty good as far as bearings without grease in there. So, so the next step, I'm going to use some water and uh, see how clean they actually are. If these aren't fully cleaned, I will put them back in some clean degreaser to get that grease out still. So. Now that these bearings look to be clean, Next step is to get the degreaser off the bearings because if we didn't, there'd be a film from the degreaser. And I'm going to take probably about 20 or so bearings at a time and dunk them in the water, which is a finer fluid, wash them around a little bit, and then clean them off really quick with some compressed air. I'm using just a simple little bike pump I got. Um, this is a 12 volt motor. This plugs into your car or cigarette lighter, but uh, I have it running from a 120 to 12 volt transformer converter kind of thing and uh, before I use this I use just a mattress pump here so just using the fine nozzle there to clean out. I'm taking this many bearings here so it's probably eh, 15 or so and I'll just dunk them in the water here and then next I'll kind of swish it around a little bit. You don't want to do this piece for too long because water Obviously, if you leave them in water, it will corrode them, so I'm just making sure all the degreaser comes off right now. All right. Next, I'm going to just get some of the water off of these. And now... I'll just show you some like highlights of cleaning these, but next what I'm going to be doing is getting the compressed air and this is going to be kind of loud, so I'm going to wear earplugs and probably well, that was funny mute some of the sound for this next part
All right, so pretty much all 120 or so bearings are clean. Um, this is one of the ones that I showed you at the beginning. They just never spun well, and there's always going to be some that probably you just can't get spinning quite as well as some others, but that's pretty good. All right, that is how I clean my bearings and take off the rubber seals and clean out all the grease and get some good run times. I've seen other people use ultrasonic cleaners and other things which look really cool. This is just a simple and easy way with pretty much household items, or at least for me it was household items. I run my bearings dry and uh, I've been running them dry for maybe a year or two on a couple of my roller coasters and I haven't had any issues if you get water or other things in the bearings that'll really jam them up quick. I know dirt clogs it up right away and hot glue. So make sure you use them in a clean environment. Uh, if you haven't seen yet, I have two other videos pertaining to the Kinex ball bearing cars. One on how to make them, where the files are, and then one showing the comparison between that and a typical connects plastic wheeled cars so thanks for following along and uh hope it works well for you guys have a good one